understand your power. See, we know who wrote the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran. It was our ancestors. We don't believe in no spooks. And we don't deal with religion. We made that for others. But I want to specifically point out this. When the scriptures of the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, I want y'all to always understand that words are mathematical equations. Witches and warlocks call them spells. They taught every one of y'all to spell when you were in elementary. So understand spells is like a word programming coming from word. What you say is what will manifest into the reality. You speak death, death will find you. You speak life, life will find you. You speak health, health will find you. You speak wealth, wealth will find you. You speak disdain, disdain will be your comfort. So remember your words. Your words are reality made manifest. So whatever you say when you're making your beautiful poetry, don't do it just to speak because you got a hole in your face called a mouth. Remember that these words come from a dark matter. And darkness cannot be examined. That's why it's hated. We possess the ability to manifest dark matter in our pineal gland. That is responsible for all living matter. All organisms possess carbon. They call it melanin, but we understand it is carbon. That's why old fossils are carbon dated. Okay? Your words are older than the sun, moon, stars planets and anything you see here so your words come from a hidden place in your thoughts that can't be examined so when you speak words understand the relationship that your words have with the reality every rapper you know that spoke death did death not come and visit them that's right that's right this is by no mystical chance this is by the relationship of your thoughts and your words and the universe that responds to it. The universe must respond to you. If you're tired of being broke, you wake up and you use your words and say, I speak wealth at this very moment. And the universe must bend to your will. I want to ask you a question, brother. Ask. He, he's got with ask. What's your question? Yeah. So now, when I spit, right? Because... I'm going to come clean. When I hear conscious music, although I love my brothers and sisters and I want to support them, the conscious stuff is dirt to me. I'm going to come clean. Like, it's just dirt. I don't be wanting to hear it. So now, I more so made a consolidation between the consciousness and the hood shit that people want to hear. So now, when I did that, people are plugged in because they like, oh, that's the Dunbar, but he just said something about Eric Garner. So I'm, I'm plugged in now. So do you think me manifesting the Gunball, me saying the word, other basically do you think my intent is gonna manifest or do you think the words override my intent great question Marcus. Yeah. that's a great question there's no such thing as a stupid question the root word of question is quest you're on a journey I'm gonna show you where you want to go never compromise your integrity you are responsible for what you know therefore if you know no good can come of a thing don't incorporate it why is the gun bar track? Because we're dealing with a low frequency of understanding. What you should do is not stoop down, but cause your audience to rise up. We've been doing the stoop down, and how well has that gotten us? See, but, yeah, pardon me, I never want to cut you. No, I, 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 want, I, want, I want to make sure you can understand it, though. Yeah, my bad. So, uh, now nah, I got you. My bad. So now, my thing is, King, I agree with you. It's not like my shit is strictly gun balls. You feel me? Not at all. I reference Stop right different... there. Stop right there. Use a better word than shit. Yeah, pardon me. Um, I respect it. My bad. Pardon me. No, the reason why I say that is because we use profanity for a lack of better word. Yeah. If we continue in that vibration, it makes us lazy. Yeah. That's an excuse. Yeah. We don't want to give each other no more excuses. Yeah. We are going to be God. And that's all we're going to be. We are going to be wise. We're going to be beautiful. We're going to be strong. 
we're going to be the best thing that they ever could see. We're not going to say we guard and we out here hot and all and off. We're not going to say we guard and we drunk with our pants down on the floor. We're not going to say we guard and we call our woman bitch 100 miles an hour all day, every day. We're not going to say we guard and we want to kill each other, rob each other, scheme on each other. So I want to correct your language. Now, Absolutely. Now, the reason I reference what I reference is because at the end of the day, like I said, when I hear conscious music, as good as as much as I want to support it, it's trash to me. So I want to bring brothers up, but I feel like I can only bring them up by way of being able to connect to them on some level. So a brother might want to hear what I'm saying, but if I'm talking about the universe and the stars, he won't want to go research that unless he knows I can relate to him on some level. So that's why I made reference the projects and me not having a pot to piss in and what I might have had to have done in order to get what I needed to get. And then I introduced him to the Aragon or the consciousness, the Sarnetta. And slowly but surely, by way of attracting, because it's all about the appeal. That's the sex appeal. Like, oh shit, he talking about guns, this, that, and the third. But somewhere he referenced Sarnetta. Who's Sarnetta? Let me go on YouTube. Boom. I'm researching Sarnetta. Who's Eric Garner? What's this, that, and the third? So I'm saying because you said that our words manifest, and I'm not trying to override the bill. I'm saying that because you said our words manifest, right? At the end of the day, I'm speaking violence in some of my lyrics, but my intent is to speak violence only to attract a certain kind of listener to introduce him to a different kind of world. So now I'm asking you, does my words override my intent or do my intent override my words? Now, real quick, Your, let, me, let me say something real quick and I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. By you saying the conscious music is like trash to you, that is because you have allowed the white man into your thinking and into your brain. There was a time when there was nothing but conscious music. And that right there was like music to all of our ears. Hold on, because remember, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. All of us, all of us at that time, hold on, all of us at that time, we could relate to the music. But what happened is you got caught up, and it's not your fault. Relax, brother. You got caught up in the crack era, the crack babies, the drug babies. So now what happened is you have been compromised in your thinking where you think, oh, you know what, that conscious music sound messed up to me because you've been caught up in that era. But see, in our era, we love, it was nothing else but the conscious music. It was music to our soul. So, no, don't say nothing. I want, now, I want my man to add on to that. So, so to add on to what he's saying, when you ask me, are your intentions overriding or would your message be overriding? Good intentions will pave the road straight to hell. So I don't want you to deal with intention. I want you to deal with knowledge, to know to apply what you know so that what you're applying can be seen clearly okay your motivation should not be dollars and cents nor should you think to save the whole world because it's clear you still need to save yourself when you save yourself beloved those who are in your responsibility will become saved because the light is for everyone to see, but not everybody appreciates the light. Some people walk around with shades in the daytime. That's subconsciously saying they don't appreciate that sun. So what I'm saying to you is let your music, which is filled with words, reflect your highest vibration without compromise, without saying I intended for you to get, because you don't know what they'll get. I can make a picture right now and five people get five different expressions but when i tell you this this is word is bomb fact when i speak the truth i don't give a damn if you accept it or not because if you don't accept it you are not of my father and my mother if you accept it you are of my father and of my mother if you reject it i know who you are you are the synagogue of satan so when we speak we don't deal with intentions good or bad because god is god we use positive and negative Electricity is formed from negative ions and eons and protons pushing forward. Yes. The positive is animation to bat your legs and, and put your lips in your mouth. Mm. That's what that electricity did. But it came from a negative. And only God can turn a negative into a positive. Without having to say, I'm going to do some negativity to get some positivity. Yes. No. We will take what the negative is and then we'll stand right and exact 
vertical on the horizontal because the plus sign is vertical and horizontal 360 degrees four right angles the negative which is subtraction like Nas when we talk Nas right we're not gonna front like Nas ain't have gun bars but introduced us to the consciousness we're not gonna front Nas would talk some shit on his tracks let me stop but you right there. Let me end, stop you right there. Pardon me. Pardon I'm, 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 I'm not low frequency. I'm familiar, I'm, familiar, I'm familiar with Nas. I'm familiar with those brothers. Okay, I've been in that cipher. Okay, you can look me up. But regardless of that, let me tell you something. All that you're trying to say, I'm going to say it again. Good intentions paved the road straight to hell. Because is not Nas being endorsed by Hennessy? Is not Hennessy a slave, master, owner, relationship to the black man? The compromise happens when you get too deep in it with the devil and you can't let go of that dance. Okay. So what I'm saying is you have a chance because you're not in there. Your soul is still in you. Okay. Hold on, brother, because this is time for truth. Don't you ever, ever, ever mistake money for success. Don't you ever success. Don't you ever let yourself believe that the definition of man is by the accumulation of wealth on this planet. Because the real wealth is inside your brain, inside every organ. You worth more dead than you alive. You may not even know that. Because the moment you drop dead, them Caucasians coming for those organs. Why? Because they feed off it. Why is the black woman giving birth to babies and her placentas never sit home with her? Because they eat them. I know that I can't help myself. They digest it. So what I'm trying to tell you is don't associate making it with money. Don't I don't care about Nas, Jay-Z, or none of them. They got their own path and they got their own hell to go through. Don't just dis, don't decipher that wrong. See it right. Because you saying making it and those who don't make it conscious and rappers who making it. Conscious means aware. Nah. I, I agree. Breathe, breathe, relax, breathe. I because because right. I see, I see, I see it's, your, it's all about you know, contrast. I see, I see your body, I see your body temperature rising. No, nah, absolutely. It's because, it's because you're being challenged with truth, and it's natural. I've been young before. Absolutely, okay. so I can relate to you. I'm listening. So what I'm saying to you is this: conscious means to be aware. Don't mean you still won't defecate, urinate, or desire sexual intercourse. Mm. Don't get that twisted. Doesn't mean you're not going to see a nice trinket and not want it. Conscious doesn't mean you're not going to see a beautiful person and be attracted. Conscious doesn't mean you're not going to see a nice car and say, that would be nice. I think I look good in that car. Don't confuse the two. But let your integrity, okay, and your desire to be right and exact all day, all night be your motivation. And whatever accumulated wealth comes your way is well-earned and well-deserved. Peace. I'm